What's up everyone? Dr. Avi Loeb reveals bombshell details about 3i, Atlas, and confirms that the object has seven active jets coming out of it and asks a question that will give you chills. Are these jets vaporizing ice or thrusters from a spacecraft? And check out what he said about the suspicious timing. When Atlas passed closest to the sun, Earth was exactly on the opposite side, as if the object was trying to avoid us on purpose. Avi Loeb called this the optimal point for a spacecraft to release probes. It was the optimal point for a spacecraft to do a maneuver, to release some probes. But before we dive into the explosive details, let me give you context on what's happening. For those just joining the 3 I Atlas saga, we're talking about the third interstellar object that has visited our solar system, and according to Loeb, this one is completely different from anything we've ever seen. And when they asked him the basics about comets, look at the clear explanation he gave. Well, a comet is a rock that has ices on it, and as it gets close to the sun, the ice sublimates, uh, evaporates, and you get uh, a, a tail of gas and dust stretched uh, away from this object. But here's the problem. 3i Atlas is not behaving according to this basic definition, and Loeb was direct about why this is so significant. But now for the first time in history, over the past eight years, we discovered objects that came from outside the solar system, and uh, two out of the three that were found looked uh, an anomalous. Now comes the part that makes any scientist's hair stand on end. When asked about Atlas characteristics, Loeb dropped a number that is simply absurd. 3i Atlas is the third interstellar object to visit us uh, from outer space, and uh, it's very massive. It's actually uh, more than 33 billion tons based on the latest estimates. 33 billion tons, people! And here's the crucial point Avi Loeb raises. And that's surprising because uh, there is just not enough rocky material in interstellar space to deliver such a giant rock into the inner solar system. In other words, statistically, this object shouldn't exist. There isn't enough material in interstellar space to form something like this that arrives here with this frequency. But things get even stranger when Loeb mentions the object's trajectory. Uh, it follows a path that is aligned with the plane of the planets around the sun. So that raises the question of whether it was uh, sent by some intelligence. And Did you hear that? Whether it was sent by some intelligence? Avi Loeb himself, from Harvard, is questioning whether this object was sent by someone. And then he details what happened when Atlas passed through perihelion. In closest to the sun on October 29th, a week ago, it became very bright, bluer than the sun. It deviated from its path as, uh, as a result of some non-gravitational force that was acting on it. Non-gravitational force, people! Something was pushing this object beyond the sun's gravity. And now we get to the most recent revelation Loeb made in the interview. Uh, in fact, uh, it, it looks like it has seven, at least seven jets coming out of it. Seven jets! And here's the trillion dollar question Loeb asked. And so the fundamental question is, are these jets uh, the, caused by pockets of ice that were vaporized by sunlight, and therefore it's a natural object, or they are thrusters of a spacecraft? Thrusters of a spacecraft! Guys, a Harvard astrophysicist is seriously considering that these jets might be thrusters. But here's the good news. Avi Loeb revealed... The, the good news is we can figure out the difference. Uh, we can observe uh, those jets uh, as uh, the object approaches closest to Earth on December 19th. Uh... December 19th, people! Just a few weeks away for the definitive test. And check out Avi Loeb's dry humor. That's six days before Christmas, and let's just hope that uh, it will not deliver any unwanted gifts. When asked if we're alone in the universe, Loeb's answer was profound and revealing... I think it's arrogant to believe uh, that we are the pinnacle of creation, because, uh, you know, just look at the world politics. Uh, there is room for improvement. And, and he continued with a reflection that gave me chills. And my guess is, you know, the, out of the tens of billions of Earth-Sun analogs, there are lots of them in the Milky Way galaxy. Surely there were things like us billions of years ago. And it's, uh, it's our duty to search for our siblings. Folks, we just heard it straight from the source. 
Avi Loeb confirming that 3i Atlas has seven active jets, that it may have fragmented near the sun, and that the timing of its passage was too suspicious to be coincidence. In the coming weeks, we'll find out if these jets are sublimating ice or technological thrusters. As Loeb himself said, the most exciting fireworks are yet to come. Before wrapping up, let's quickly recap all the anomalies present in this object to date that make it unique. 1. Arrival aligned with the ecliptic plane, probability, 0.2%. 2. Jet directed toward the sun contradicts basic physical laws. 3. Gigantic mass, but high velocity, defies known patterns. 4. Perfect timing to visit planets but invisible from Earth. 5. Industrial metallic composition, lots of nickel, little iron. 6. Extremely dry, 4% water versus 80-90% of comets. 7. Light polarization never seen in nature. 8. Same direction as the WOW signal from 1977. 9. Hotter than our own star. That's nine impossibilities happening in the same object. As Loeb said, observe first, theorize later. But with so many anomalies together, the question is no longer if something extraordinary is happening, but what exactly we are observing. And you guys, what do you think of Loeb's revelations? Seven natural jets or thrusters? Leave your theories in the comments. And if you want to follow every development of this story until December 19th, subscribe to the channel because this could change everything we know about our place in the universe. See you next time.